Hi, this is Mike with Draft Buddy, and today I'm going to show you how to solve an issue that we've dealt with uh, for some time, a little bit, uh, for for a handful of users. Um, it was very difficult to get to the bottom of this issue because it seemed somewhat random. It didn't seem to matter what the Excel setup was, or it was Windows or a Mac issue. But you know, uh, a small group of users would you know indicate that they had this problem, even if they didn't have the problem the prior year. And the file, while it's turned over from the new year, you know, really wasn't was essentially the same. And uh, but this error kind of popped up. I think we finally got the solution here. And much thanks to customer Keith Dawson, who not only uh, pointed me in the right direction here, but sent detailed steps and screenshots to show me exactly what he was doing. Uh, so I think, you know, I hope we can solve this and uh, get people to see this video so no one can experience this again. Uh, let me show you what's going on here. So the issue is basically any time DraftBuddy would connect to the internet, and of course we do that to update, cheat, update the projections, update the ADP, uh, update the depth charts, uh, and then it would throw an error saying 1004 error. Sometimes it would say can't connect to a web link, which clearly, you know, the web link typically worked in the browser, but not in Excel. I click check for update and it's give me this error. Um, <clears throat> even in the compiled cheat sheets, it connects the internet at one point to clear out the draft report tab. Uh, or if you're doing the syncing, the leak sync. So all these times, it would give an error. And let's see, like I said, on the update, it connects the internet. So even if I right click here, edit query, and you can see here's one of the pages that pulls the quarterbacks for the update. If I go to import, unexpected error all of a sudden. Okay. Now I never experienced this before myself, so it wasn't until Keith showed me what was going on. Let me hit OK, and we have to go to File, Options, and this is really hard to find, but it's it's really it is under General. Scroll down a little bit and privacy settings. And in privacy settings, we have connected experiences. So we want to turn on all connected experiences. Now for the people who didn't have this issue one year and then had it the next year, I can only think that Microsoft Excel updated your settings at some point and turned this off. Whereas in mine, it was always on, and I never experienced this issue. But let's turn on all connected experiences. Turn on experiences that download online content, because that is what's happening here. We're using these web queries to pull in uh, pages off the internet, tables off the internet that I've created to allow DraftBuddy to update projections and do all these things, uh, and including the leak sync. So now these are on. We're going to hit OK. Restarts required. OK, no surprise. Hit OK, hit OK. Let's close Draft Buddy. I'm not going to save it, but those settings should be saved. Start up. Open Draft Buddy again. And now I should be able to to all these things like check for update without the error. Okay, I still need to enable content. So I'm prompted to enable macros and data connections. Go to the action tab, check for update. And it works. So there you go. If you are experiencing the error where it gives you a generic 1004 error when you're doing things like checking for update, updating projections, even compile cheat sheets, try checking those settings in the Trust Center to allow Excel to connect to the internet. Okay, you know, connect the connection, make the connections, and pull data from the internet, and then you know, shut it down, restart, and then DraftBuddy should work as you expect. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, Keith.